Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the deck six deck from James Robert Watson. All right, so what is deck six? Deck six is basically uh, your four traditional suits plus two more, okay? So you get six suits, hence deck six, all right? So you're gonna get your normal, you know, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, okay? And then you're gonna get two additional suits, which are cups and shields. Now, cups and shields, they've been uh, standard suits in other more classical uh, decks from long since past. Uh, but what James has done is he's kind of re-added them to the traditional cards, and he's designed his own unique pips. And the interesting thing about uh, his two new uh, pip designs uh, with the cups and the shields, he didn't just, you know, come up with something off the top of his head. He didn't just design something completely brand new. What he did was he took the existing suits that we currently have and he designed new suits from them. So like, say the shields, uh, it's really like the inverted image of the hearts uh, on the top and then the diamonds on the bottom to make a shield. And then his cuffs image is really uh, two spade pips kind of melded together. So he wanted it to match. He wanted it to blend in, he, to, to fit with the four existing suits that we currently have. So that was unique. Uh, and, and also have them be distinctive from the other. The shields uh, suit is an additional red suit and the cups suit is an additional black suit. Uh, they're gonna be easy to recognize. They'll be easy to remember once you see them. As you can see, the front of the tuck case says deck six, and it has a little fan uh, of cards there. It says deck six on the side. And it also says that they're printed from SHP Games. Uh, the top says deck six, the bottom has some ad copy, and the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. Uh, this is a very big box, okay? This is a very big box. This is not a small size box, but here's what you gotta be thinking about this. This is really a box for game play, all right? This is a box uh, and cards for card games. So this is probably gonna go in your shelf or in your drawer with your other games, you know, like Uno and, and you know, Old Maid and things like that, okay? So this is really a, a gaming deck. Um, another thing to note about this card box, and this is just me, okay? This is just me. Uh, it, the cards have lots of space inside of here, so they do kind of rattle around. Uh, it's not a tight fit. It seems, maybe, I don't know, maybe the box and the deck come from two different companies, I have no idea. But uh, you do get a little bit of rattle in there. There is some extra space. That's pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. The back design has a giant white uh, poker border. And then the back design is merely comprised of the six suits in just a random order. So uh, they just go up and down side to side. Uh, and that pretty much is the back design of the cards. Again, this is a gaming deck, okay? This is a deck that you're gonna play poker, you know, and things like that with. And so that I, I believe is the best way to, for you to think about this. And really because you have six suits, this is a, a deck of cards for more than just four players, okay? Sometimes you there are card games that involve more than four players and everyone needs their own suit. Hence, this is why you would get a deck six deck. A lot of people always ask how the cards feel, how they handle, the quality of the paper, and then put into all of that. Uh, the best thing I can do for you is measure these with a caliper just to give you an idea of kind of how thick they are. Maybe you'll see uh, how they compare from one deck to another. If I stick 10 of these into a caliper, uh, my reading comes to 3.03. 3.03 is pretty thick, okay? 3.03 is on par with a casino grade stock. Uh, it's gonna be the same thickness as the Mirage 2 uh, deck from Legends or the White Lions, the Black Labels, or the Dynasty Reds or the Bri Belly Elites that were printed in China. As far as the paper stock uh, is concerned, uh, there is a very faint uh, linen embossing on them, but like I said, it's very faint. It doesn't do a whole lot for the cards uh, allowing them to glide. So because the deck is so thick and the cards are so thick and then the surface area uh, is, is so, I'll say smooth, the cards do tend to clump up a lot. Uh, you don't get a nice even spread that you would from say United States Playing Card Company. Uh, and part of the reason for that is just the printer. I think James Watson getting these printed from SHP Games, um, I don't know how you know many card games they produce. They probably just do card games, not necessarily like playing cards. And so uh, you're not gonna get the same quality, okay, uh, of playing cards that, you're, that you might be familiar with, but it's perfectly good for playing a game of poker or bridge. All right, so what are you gonna get with this deck? Uh, one of the things you're gonna get is you're gonna get three different jokers, okay? You're gonna get three different jokers, uh, two different colors, and then one is a blended color. So three jokers for six suits. And then the other thing you're gonna get is you're gonna get six info cards. That's right, six ad cards. <laughs> 
it's kind of a lot. <laughs> Six ad cards, uh, and uh, you know, James says just you know chuck them before you start playing. I don't know, maybe it would have been cool to, to give us a couple more jokers. You know, in a standard deck you get two, so maybe with six suits, maybe I get four. I mean, one ad card does tell you about you know what deck six is. Another ad card does tell you you know what the different poker hands are, so that's helpful. One ad card is just you know credits for the people who helped design the deck. One ad card is just decorative. One ad card gives you a list of other games that you can buy, and one ad card tells you a little bit more about SHP games. The pips, indices, and court cards will be pretty standard. I think you'll recognize pretty much everything. There's nothing new to learn, okay? And while they might not be the pips, indices, and courts that you're typically familiar with, they're perfectly fine for gameplay. All right, so that is my review of the deck six playing cards from James Robert Watson. If you'd like more information about this, I'll stick the link below for you in the description, but you can visit thegamecrafter.com or you can visit jamesrobertwatson.com. As always, I want to thank James Watson for allowing me to have this deck so that I can do the review for you. Thanks. Bye.